put them together. All right, just like this. In your right hand, a shorter piece of rope. Next, what you're gonna do is, important side note, is I know we've... You're gonna take these the two ends of these ropes, and you're gonna tuck them. It'll be very uncomfortable, especially for you short guys. All right? So, got one on the left, one on the right. Take this last wrap. It's at that point, it's, gonna, it's, a, it's not going to look pretty because I rope, it's just going to be like, do this, pistol grip, okay. bam, now you're going to go around, let me go now. You see how it just changed? Mm -hmm. Now you're going to go around your hand, and then go through this, fit it through the middle. Basically the, the setup criteria, that way if you have to... And four, right? Now just lay... Rope. There you go. You're just going to tie around the body bowling around himself, or you're going to tie it around him. Good luck. That's a common mistake a lot of people make. When you get to these two holes right here, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, 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 Oh, you left undone. That's what you're coming back through. So, lift them up. Something break. You can fall. There's no crosses or anything on the back side. If I got somewhere that's scared, I'm just not gonna take my time to do it. Now you're gonna tie square. Now. So you want it to be. Uh, so, let me hold that tight. What is the purpose of the basic jungle warfare skills training course? So the purpose of the basic jungle warfare skills training course is pretty much to get individual of the mindset of thinking tactical and adapting in a jungle environment. We've been pushing the fight in Afghan, Iraq, different clim climbs and places, but now we're getting, it seems like the fight is pushing more to the jungle environment, so we're trying to get people in the mindset of how to operate out here in this different terrain and environment and the different skills they can apply. Okay. Uh, what role do you play in the jungle warfare training center? So myself, I'm one of the lead instructors with JWTC, and I'm also a Hearst Maps Master. So different things we do are Hearst Point Masters will be doing cliff operations, repelling procedures, some sked car uh, casualty carries, just different operations where we're moving throughout the jungle and using the systems we learn to make it more applicable. And just for the camera, you said sked. What does that stand for? So that sked, the sked carry, the s <laughs> Oh, I don't, there's no like acronym for SCED, it's just... Oh, it's just a, it's just a letter? You, is there an acronym for SCED? I don't think it is. Holy shit, I wanna... If uh, not, that's fine, we can just... No, nah, there's, I don't think there... Like what is HERST? So HERST is Helicopter Rope Suspension Techniques and Tactics. So it's just one of the different courses that we went through where they teach you how to repel during day and night operations, whether it's with a load or, or not a load. And they teach you just how to go down the cliff, how to be a point master, and how to do things safety safely and supervise it as well so awesome. uh, what is the schedule of events for this basic jungle skills course so within the first week the students will get classes on jungle operations jungle med which one of our corpsmen or idc will teach then myself or another instructor will go over land navigation and the different rope techniques and how it all applies to being out in the jungle then the next day we'll go over some cliff and repellent procedures and within this week course we get into effects where they conduct PB operations in their final event, which would be that endurance course. Awesome. Uh, 
how does the, the course itself like test the Marines that participate? Like how is it difficult? What are the difficulties that arise? Things like that. It puts the Marines in a situation where ha they have to know how to use what they applied in order to get over an obstacle or get a buddy out of a bad situation to prevent it from getting any worse at that point. So they learn the skills and they're able to apply them in the jungle environment. That's what it really pushes for. Awesome. Uh, what is your personal favorite part of the course? My personal favorite part of the course will probably be the e-course because you can see how different individuals work together as a unit to push through different obstacles and see how they learn how to adapt in the environment. Okay. Is there uh, anything that you'd like to add or anything you feel we missed in these questions? Uh, no, I think you hit it on the head. Awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah that's it. Uh, thank you. Cool. Awesome. Thank you for your help, Martin. I think I left.